Hey everyone, if you are looking for a super fast quick review for precursors of gluconeogenesis and important enzymes for each of them, so you are in the right place. And if you are looking for, if you are looking to learn about precursor of gluconeogenesis, gluconeogenesis as a process and individual reactions, so you can watch my video which is appearing, uh, the link for that is appearing in the right upper corner right now. So let's move on to all the precursors that are involved in gluconeogenesis and what all the important enzymes for each of them. So first thing is alanine which is coming from proteolysis and as you all know like in the very first week of gluconeogenesis process that is in the fasting condition and starvation the predominant source of gluconeogenesis is skeletal muscle proteolysis and uh, amino acid that is coming from that is predominantly alanine. So alanine is carried to the liver and it is converted to glucose. So technically two alanine can make one glucose molecule and also the lactate, lactate which is coming from anaerobic glycolysis so that two lactates can be converted into glucose molecule. So while two alanine going into glucose so there are four important enzymes that are involved or that are needed for to convert two alanine into one glucose. Of course alanine has to be converted into pyruvate by alanine transaminase but I am looking at the, the important enzymes in gluconeogenesis and that is pyruvate carboxylase. It's going to convert pyruvate into oxalocetate then PEPCK in the cytoplasm it's going to convert phosphoenol pyruvate into sorry oxalocetate into phosphoenol pyruvate and then we have fructose 16 bisphosphatase converting fructose 16 bisphosphate into fructose 6 phosphate and the last enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase and that's going to convert glucose 6 phosphate into glucose molecule. Now these are the four enzymes that are involved in conversion of 2 alanine into glucose. Now conversion of 2 lactate into glucose so you just need all those four enzymes that are needed for conversion of 2 alanine into glucose molecule. So all those four enzymes are here and that is pyruvate carboxylase, PEPCK, fructose 6 bisphosphatase and glucose 6 phosphatase. So basically same set of en important enzymes that are needed for both alanine and lactate to go into glucose in gluconeogenesis. I am just covering the important enzymes in gluconeogenesis. Now glycerol, so glycerol coming from triacyl glycerol breakdown, so you are going to get a glycerol molecule, so technically glycerol is, two glycerol can be converted into one glucose because each glycerol has got three carbons. So first and foremost glycerol has to be converted into glycerol 3 phosphate and that will be done by glycerol kinase enzyme. Once you get glycerol 3 phosphate, so glycerol 3 phosphate is converted to dihydroxyacetone phosphate by glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase so that enzyme is needed in the liver and then once you get uh, dihydroxyacetone phosphate two of them so these molecules can be reversed into fructose 16 bisphosphate which can be converted into fructose 6 phosphate and that job is done by fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase and the last enzyme of course it is glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme so there are four enzymes for glycerol, that is glycerol kinase, glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, fructose 16-bisphosphatase and glucose 6-phosphatase. These are important enzymes for glycerol to go into glucose. Coming with the last one that is propionyl-CoA. So as you know propionyl-CoA come from oxidation of odd number carbon fatty acids in the mitochondria. So propionyl-CoA is a 3 carbon molecule so it means you need 2 propionyl-CoA to make 1 glucose. Now first reaction propionyl-CoA is converted to methyl melanyl coa done by propionyl-CoA carboxylase which needs biotin. Then methyl melanyl coa is converted to succinyl-CoA done by methyl melanyl coa mutase which needs deoxydinosyl cobalamin. And then you get oxalocetate, oxalocetate going to cytoplasm in the form of malate and malate converted back into oxalocetate and that is converted to phosphenol pyruvate done by phosphenol pyruvate carboxykinase and then all the way down to fructose 16 bisphosphate and that is taken care by fructose 16 bisphosphatase and the final enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase. So overall propionyl-CoA needs five important enzymes in making glucose that is propionyl-CoA carboxylase, methyl melanyl coa mutase, PEPCK, fructose 16 bisphosphatase and glucose 6 phosphatase enzyme. 
So that's all about um, uh, precursors for gluconeogenesis and important enzymes that are needed for conducting gluconeogenesis, making possible to convert all these precursors into glucose. As always, thanks for watching and for regular updates, you can consider subscribing to my video and if you like the video, so give a thumbs up and for a slower pace videos, just for like learning process, you can always watch my other videos available in YouTube in my channel. Thanks again and see you in my next video. Till then, take care.